there's a new way to visit local and area attractions here in Groton and New London. Stay tuned as we talk about the Thames River Water Taxi on this week's edition of Welcome to Groton. Welcome to Groton. I'm your host, Carol Pratt, and with me today is the City of Groton Mayor, Marion Galbraith, and Chris Cox, who is president of the Thames River Heritage Park Foundation. It's a beautiful day. Thank you for inviting us to come here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for love, having us. Love getting outside in this weather. I think it's a perfect day. Um, we are here at Thames River Heritage Park. What is it? I, I see when I came down, it looks like a beautiful place just to sit and look at the water. So well, this is actually the um, Fort Griswold Landing. It's part of Fort Griswold. Oh, it's okay. um, historically where the prisoners of war were rolled down the hill and taken off in ships. So oh. this is part of, um, the, of Fort Griswold. Okay. And Fort Griswold is one of the anchor spots for Thames River Heritage Park. Ah, okay. So this really is Fort Griswold Landing then. Yes. Where we are exactly. Yes. Okay. Now, where did this idea come from to, uh, to do this project? Well, it's emerged in several forms over the... 30, 40, maybe even 50 years. Oh, there was wow. a maritime park, and then there was a notion of uh, uh, trying to get the, 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 the business of the economic development and the harbor and all that uh -huh. resuscitated. Uh -huh. And um, But it's come alive, and the three, the three municipalities, Groton, New London, and the city of Groton, uh -huh. uh, and the state uh, DOT and uh, the DEP particularly, who oh. are the purveyors of these wonderful parks here, our, our original sponsors, wow. and we're looking to expand up to the Nautilus Museum. There are about 150,000 people a year who go to the Nautilus Museum. Oh. And uh, some of us think that they might enjoy the, this wonderful Fort Griswold and the spectacular Fort Trumbull and, mm -hmm. and downtown, which is in sure. itself an interesting sure. place. What will eventually be our four anchor sites, mm -hmm. the, the two state parks, Fort Trumbull, Fort Griswold, the Nautilus, and the future Coast Guard Museum oh, yes. to connect those with all the other smaller historical and cultural institutions that mm -hmm. we have into one park experience. That's really mm -hmm. the idea of the Thames River Heritage Park. Mm -hmm. It isn't that it has its own land. It really mm -hmm. is a connection between all of those and, of course, the connections to the water taxi. And, and the brilliant moment was uh, when the Avery Cop House Museum and yes. its board uh, decided to fund a inquiry and plan ah. according to all these dreams mm -hmm. and these good planners and architects mm -hmm. talked to everybody there was to talk to I think mm -hmm. and came up with a scheme which we accepted and agreed upon because it was very smart. Yeah, so you say this has been in the works for a long, long time. time. Yes. Yeah. And what a wonderful thing to have it so easy for people who come. I know once in a while the cruise ships come. I mean, you could have an easy Absolutely. way for people to see the history in this area and just make it like one-stop shopping almost. Exactly. You know, it's hop so on, lovely. Off. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if they've decided where the Coast Guard Museum is going to go yet, but you, oh, I regardless, think they've decided. They've decided. Oh, they have. Yeah. But yeah. regardless, you'd be able to to, to get them oh, there. We want to service that very much. Yeah. Yes. Now, who will oversee this once it's official? Is it official now? Oh. It was designated, it was actually, the park itself was actually designated by the state in 1990. And the Thames River Heritage Park Foundation has an MOU with the DEEP. They're overseeing mm -hmm. the water taxi with the assistance of the and, Southeastern and Connecticut Council remember of Governments. Remember it was uh, the Royal Administration, remember, mm -hmm. uh, because the underwater sound labs were leaving for Newport. Yes. The, uh, the discovery was that Fort Trumbull was an extraordinarily American fortification sure, in an sure. Egyptian design that yeah. is now accessible yeah. to people and interpreted right. with extraordinary exhibits. Right. Well, let alone the history behind Fort Griswold. Right. A lot and, of tourists and don't that's know that. That's the gem of it all, really, Fort yes. Griswold is. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And, we're, and some of the things that we're thinking about 
like the Ebenezer Avery House, a spectacular place just up mm -hmm. uh, the street here, uh, moved from the lower location earlier, but, uh, uh, and the Avery Cop and there are other sites here, the uh, Colonel Ledger Cemetery and so forth that are yes. extraordinary history places. Yeah, yeah. So we hope to um, illuminate those and provide access for people in a fun way right. for families and uh, folks to right. come and visit and stay longer. Yes, now you had to jump through a lot of hoops though. You said there were a lot of agency involved, DEP, is that <laughs> Devar Department Marion. of Environmental Protection? Marion Who is else did you have good. to go through? <laughs> National Park Service isn't oh. involved at all. No, is that? not no. at all. Uh, getting the water taxi uh, was really a matter of going through alphabet soup. All oh. extraordinarily <laughs> helpful, but I'm from sure. NAVC to uh, DLS to DAS oh and to every, every conceivable group, DEP and DOT. <laughs> Again, everyone was extraordinary help, was extraordinarily helpful, but it was, as you say, a lot of hoops. Oh, I'll bet it was. <laughs> <laughs> now, the big question is, everyone asks, how are you going to pay for all this? How is it funded? Uh, we have some support for municipalities, and we have some state money, $100,000 a year for two years. Oh. To get the taxis up and running, and mm -hmm. we think that the taxi business uh, will be self-supporting. Ah. And then we will pursue grants for administration and organization for the park development mm -hmm. part of this, mm -hmm. where uh, the, the water taxis are our vehicles for history. Right, And right. that we want to then find a way to help the history organizations on both sides of the river mm -hmm. have a common theme. And one of the ways we express that is, who's going to produce the visitor experience on the mm -hmm. Groton Bank. Yes, yes. And that question says, all right, so who's in? How are we going to help each other? What are we going to do? What yeah. are we going to make ourselves interesting? What special yeah. events will we have at what time of year? So those are the things that we're thinking through now. Yeah, and I'm sure there's also that question of if you're bringing people over there, but are they going to share the profit of the water taxi, or is it just, oh, yeah. you know, that? No, there's no, no, th there's no sharing of the profits, but, but there is, uh, and, and people are worried that um, they're not getting their due. Uh -huh. uh, but what we're trying to do is expand the audience yes. exponentially. Well, they can jump off the taxi, go into New That's London, right. and shop or and, and, eat or whatever they want to and, do. And, and delivering people to their yes, door is yes. a valuable thing. It is, too. yeah. Um, what's really interesting to me is to talk to the taxi operators who tell me how often people from Groton are going over to eat something and mm -hmm. people from the other side I've heard say I'm coming over here to Paul's <laughs> pasta yeah you know so so it's this ease of travel yeah. in a really delightful way I mean I've gone over to New London for ice cream on a Sunday yes. afternoon I would never have done that before and we she, enjoy each other's customer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do I, I do quite well, a bit <laughs> I think one of the the advantages is people don't like to go across the bridge during summer season with tourists and all so that would would uh, and eliminate that There's problem. There's also the part of it that uh, we're we just about to put our second boat online and have the, this is the Groton and we have a, another boat called the New London. And ah. we're expecting that uh, uh, the season will evolve with more charters and families mm -hmm. taking the boats and uh, the Denison Pequot Post Nature Center, ah. we could be helpful to Ness and their sailing programs or the Audubon Society and, the, oh, and be yeah. helpful to, because this is access to nature. Yes. And to yes. just be on the boats in the harbor yeah. is something that yeah. not everyone is lucky enough to spend much time doing. Right, right. Now, how did you acquire the boats? Did you have to convert them? Now, years ago, is it true, though, that we also used to have a ferry? Was it near this site here where the ferry yes, was? It was, or it was well, farther well, down? Several places along here. Yeah, so that's kind of neat that we're almost reviving that, aren't oh, we? In I a different way, in a modern way. Some so that's don't pretty change. cool. Yeah. yeah. So how how did you acquire these boats or taxis or whatever you call them? Well, Are they we like have, ferries? We, we or have whatever? great friends in the Navy and we have great friends who ah. do research and we've got a lot of uh, people who like to find out things. <laughs> uh, but they're basically, this is a boat not unlike the uh, Liberty launch that's at Mystic Seaport. It's a pretty standard uh, kind of launch, but it's solid and yes. it's safe yes. and yes. people are comfortable being on them. So right. we just took the best obvious route Mm -hmm. and had them uh, donated for a hundred dollars a piece, I think. Oh, really? Yes. And then who did you get to convert the boats? Did they have to be fixed in well, any way? Well, uh, Crocker's Boatyard is our wonderful boatyard uh, uh, across the way, and they're a very smart yeah. bunch of guys, yeah. and uh, they uh, family five generations, and wow. they're helping us a great deal. They're a sponsor, and they're mm -hmm. also uh, 
uh, we're, we're having them help us with their business. Yeah. Now there's seats for own, you know so many people, and I'm sure that it's safe with life jackets or whatever. People 42 would not plus have two. To. Oh my! So you can so two two crew and 42 people, and there are you know life jackets for everyone on board. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, so that's we have all that safety. In fact, uh, we've been working. Coast Guard has been another organization that's been extraordinarily helpful in getting us through the COI process. Never none of us had ever been through it before getting wow. the certificate what's of inspection. This? Oh, that's what it is. So, um, so you know it. And, and there's lots of things you have to have all about safety and that's mm -hmm. important so they've been really very helpful to us what about um, future expansion do you th do you, do uh, you see other things happening well I do and I don't know what they are yet yeah and I think that uh, uh, those good ideas get nominated and elected by the people who want to use them yes first uh, will be the Nautilus yeah that's I think the really Nautilus important. is really an important oh, goal yeah. for us yeah. Uh, yeah but the programming and the the, the, and how the water taxis are used in the harbor mm -hmm. and whether they're used for the three days that we're running them, right. uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, so that, in fact, the, they're available uh, for charter on other days. Ah. So that as uh, soon as we have the next yeah. boat up, mm -hmm. we'll start getting press on that too. That that whole notion of getting the Nautilus in is really very important to us because um, yes, that's that's kind of the the experience. Mm -hmm. It really anchors who we are. I mean, if you look at it, the Coast Guard, the the Navy base, the Fort Trumbull, mm -hmm. Fort Griswold. I mean, it says so much about who we are as a as a joint. It's joint communities that surround the mouth of the harbor. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's really defining what success this then, this has been, just with all the cooperation you've had with agencies and different things, and the benefit to the community. Uh, well, you just the, could. Uh, the, it's very interesting too. I think that, it, uh, and I think that the park part of this, the Thames River Heritage Park, uh, will become more and more visible in programming mm. because. Uh, you know, during the time of, uh, of early, you know, in the 1655, it was uh, very agricultural. Sure. And then it became, uh, uh, the, the, during the revolution, it was closed up and mm -hmm. it was terrible business. But the War of 1812 was unbelievably good business. <laughs> and then sealing and whaling. And this is the third largest uh, landings of whales uh, in the United States. This, sure. is a, this is a big business here. And, Huge yeah. amounts of capital were created here, yeah. um, and then it was Connecticut's only deep water port. Yes, yes. So the Thames River is very—it's very, very deep through here. Yes. Yeah. Because, and, and so the uh, the uh, Caribbean trade, as it's called, mm. uh, had significant traffic as a, uh, Connecticut as a supply uh, system for the plantations in yes. the Caribbean. Yeah. Oh, this is just a wonderful thing that you're doing. Well, there are uh, a lot of stories, and the yeah. fun of it is the stories and. Uh, look to involve young people mm -hmm. and school children and uh, we've got a very good program developing with the University of Connecticut Avery Point and the Maritime Studies Program. Oh, lovely. We've got very good relationships with the New London County Historical Society, New uh -huh. London Landmarks and uh, the, the Art Museum and thinking about the yeah. digital access to materials together and oh, doing yeah. things with people. Yeah. Now there are very many um, uh, benevolent, I guess you would call them, people out there who maybe want to donate to your foundation. Is that possible? It's very possible. And, okay, and, and how would, how would they get a hold of you or the foundation? Well, we have a pretty good website. Uh, and, okay. And, and we are uh, two of the people who are available uh, through that website. Oh, okay. Um, and it's the Thames River Heritage Park. Uh -huh. um, and we have a Facebook page and that website. So oh, um, I think if they want to, they can find us and we'd, be, we'd love to hear from them. There are that's charter memberships, there are ways to be sponsors, all oh, of that. Okay. Um, in addition, I just would like to point out, yeah, I know you're going to be talking to, uh, to David later mm -hmm. about the business itself, mm -hmm. but we want to encourage people to um, go to Thames River Water Taxi LLC, that's mm -hmm. T rwtllc.com for all the fares and mm -hmm. the schedules. If there's really inclement weather, heavy storms, mm -hmm. it will tell you whether they're running or not, things like that. So great, it's great. a really good source for information uh, about the water taxi. Mayor, thank you so much. Mr. Cox, it was a pleasure thank to meet you. you. Thank You're you both so doing Carol. such wonderful work. Well, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. it was fun coming here. Yeah, great. <laughs> We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we'll continue our program on the water taxi. Stay tuned. Domine is a husband, father, an athlete, even an Iron Man. 
that 10 years ago, Chris's kidneys were failing. The doctor said, if you don't do dialysis, if you don't get a kidney transplant, you are going to die. Then Chris received a second chance, made possible by an organ donor. Your well-being changes from loss of hope to better times ahead. Imagine what you could make possible. Learn more and sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. Welcome back. We're still at Fort Griswold Landing and we have new guests now. We are talking with Jackie and David Dietrich, the owners and operators of Thames River Taxi. Right? Is, do I have that right? Thames River Water Taxi? All right. right. This is exciting. <laughs> um, how did you get into this business? Uh, have you always been, um, you know, uh, in the water or with boats or how did, you, how did you get into this? I have always been on the water since I was 10. Ah. And, um, but a colleague of my husband's, Earl G, lives in Groton, and he was reading the day newspaper and he saw the request for a proposal published in the day and uh -huh. he snipped it and brought it to my husband <laughs> at the office and he said, David, I think your wife could do this. That's true. <laughs> he brought it home and he showed me the article and I rolled my eyes and I said, you're joking, right? <laughs> and uh, so and we, he, he knew not to say anything after that. So he didn't say anything well, for a few weeks. Uh -huh. but we did it, let it go for a while. <laughs> David has a lot of integrity. <laughs> um, but I read the article and there was a late January date for people who are interested in submitting a request uh -huh. for a proposal, responding to the request for the proposal, to go to the boat yard and to see the boats. Cold, wet, snowy morning. Oh, no. And I said, well, if we're going to do this, if we're going to consider it, we should uh -huh. go. So yeah. I went and I looked at the boats and that's when I met the mayor and uh -huh. Penny and Chris Cox and uh -huh. uh, took a look at the boats. and. Wow came home and he said, well, what'd you think? I took some pictures and uh -huh. I said, well, Wasn't good. the boats don't, <laughs> the interior of the boats didn't look that good, but the engines didn't have much time on them. Yeah. Where were these boats when you were looking at them? At Crocker's Boatyard. Ah, okay. Now, were you in the boating industry? Was that what your job was when you, when you did this or were you in a different uh, business? No, no. Yeah. I've always had my, um, well, since I was 16, I got my Merchant Marine credential. Oh. And so I've been on the water. I grew up on the uh, water. I grew okay. up racing J24 yeah. sailboats in Newport, oh, Rhode wow. Island. Oh, wow. And doing boat deliveries. I've sailed the Sydney yeah. Hobart Yacht Race and the Newport Bermuda Race on some larger vessels. Uh, I've so had you, a lot of boating experience. Yes, yeah. And my mom encouraged me to get yeah. my um, credentials when Great. I was young. Great, so you've had a lot of experience. Okay, David, what about you? How many uh, boats have you driven? I, I've driven about uh, three or four boats. Okay. But, uh, so I grew up in Iowa, a small, small town where... Uh, there are not too many boats. Not too many boats. <laughs> Joined the Navy, got in a submarine, which had oh. nothing to do with boating. Right. And then uh, got out and been living in the New England area for about wow. the last 15, 20, I guess the last 20 years. Oh, wow. We live on a lake now, so yeah. we have a couple boats there. and We have a boat in the Newport Harbor. and. Um, I just figured it'd be something nice to do and, yes. and more enjoyable than sitting behind a desk pushing yes. paperwork. Yes, that's great. That's great. Now, what kind of boats, uh, What, for instance, the boat behind us, what kind of a boat is it? It's, I know nothing about boats, so that's obviously not a sailboat. What is it? So it's a uh, Willard utility boat. And ah. uh, the two boats that the Grot, that the Marion, uh, Marion Galbraith mm -hmm. has re uh, bought, mm -hmm. one's from the USS LaSalle, which was an LPD. Uh, the other one, it was at... Uh, it was Holy Lock Scotland on the Hunley for a submarine mm -hmm. tender. So it's a 40 foot utility boat. Um, and what would they use it for? Just so running supplies? So the LaSalle was more of a Liberty launch. 
the which submarine. means what? Uh, so you take people off the off the uh, U.S. warship oh, okay. and bring them to a shore. Lift, so if they had to moor out in the harbor somewhere, oh, okay. so the uh, they'd bring the the sailors on board to uh -huh. land. They'd go out. They'd come back. Right. Go to go to bed. Same thing right. over and right. over. Not that I was a sailor, <laughs> but uh, and then for the Hunley, they used a tender, so they'd actually bring people out and tender the submarine with it. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah. But they were near. They were. They weren't used that much. In fact, this one has. I think we put the most hours on it. We got it with four hours on the engine, so it wasn't used at all. Hardly. Oh. And this was off the USS LaSalle, which was in the Persian Gulf. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think the the Hunley or the tender has mm -hmm. about four or seven hours on the engine. Wow. So they weren't used a whole lot. Yeah. But. Um, they're good little boats. Yeah. They uh, weigh about 14 ton or displace 14 ton, wow. 40 feet long, hold 42 people. Wow. Now, um, did you do all the renovations or did somebody else do uh, that? Crockers did most yeah. of the renovations. Actually, Crockers did all the renovations. Okay. So uh, they did a very good job. They still need, we still need to paint a few things, get a few <laughs> things going. But other than that, they did a really nice job. They've, they've gone through the mechanics and uh, well, it's, they run it's well. Well, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. I come down here to this, this lovely little park here that I see Grasso Tech students even help landscape it. How do I uh, board? Just come right out here and get tickets? What happens? Yes. Well, you could go to our website, trwtllc.com, mm -hmm. or you could go to the Heritage Park Foundation mm -hmm. website and click on Water Taxi, and you could buy tickets online, oh, you can. or you can come right to the boat. And so you get just your walk right down. Boat. Yeah, oh, so, every, right down. so every pier that we stop at, the three stops, mm -hmm. you can buy the tickets right on, online. Or okay, right, now when, either online or on board. And when you buy a ticket, is it considered a round trip ticket or you have to buy every time you get on? Um, so it's a round trip ticket. Okay. Um, obviously, we, you know, we try to be uh, accommodating for right. special requests, things like that. Mm -hmm. But it is usually a round trip ticket for weekends. There's so a round, one round trip ticket, a weekday uh, or a day, day pass. pass or a weekend pass, okay. or there's a uh, season, pass. season pass. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, you said there's three drop-off points. What does that mean? In other words, I take the boat, I can get dropped off at one of the sites, or all three? All, all th well, so we go in a clockwise, clockwise uh, direction. direction, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I would have come up with that word eventually. <laughs> uh, so we stop, we start off at Trumbull, and then we go to New London, and then we come here to Groton and then back to Trumbull. So every hour, it's on the hour at Trumbull, 20 minutes at New London, and then 40 minutes past the hour in Groton. But you can get off, be off for two hours, three hours. Uh -huh. You just don't want to miss the last ferry at, or the last taxi at Trumbull. Okay, think, but if I, if I got off at Fort Trumbull, I can then get back on and go on to you another bet. stop? You yes. bet. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty reasonable yeah, then. Yeah. And, and what are the rates for, uh, let's say, if I've got a, um, uh, just a one-day pass, a round-trip pass? A round-trip pass is $10 for okay. you. Okay. Unless you're, for unless you're a military or oh, something no, like no, that. No, no, I'm not. No, no. So it's $10 for you. <laughs> okay. Active, and what about active kids? Active military. Children under three are free. Children three and under are free. Okay. And 12 and under okay. are $5. Okay. Yeah, and then everybody no. above... Or $5 less. Yeah. Everybody above 12 is $10. That's very reasonable, I think. Yeah. And you start boarding at what time? Uh, so it starts at... On a uh, Friday, is it? Or during the week? Yep. 10 o'clock in the Friday. morning? Yeah. And we end at 9 o'clock on... Every day. Every day. Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. So Saturday, you're Saturday. saying I could board at 10 o'clock and not come home till 9? Well, you'd ha I mean, if you Correct. want to spend three hours in Trumbull <laughs> and three hours in New London yeah. and three hours in Gar you can come you home You can do and that. You bet. I'll you be bet. darned. Yeah. Well, so wow. the whole purpose of the water taxi is so that people go to the Heritage Park sites. Yes. And there are a number of different sites at yes. each location. Uh -huh. So you can go to Fort Trumbull, take your time, mill around the fort, uh -huh. and uh, learn about yeah. the fort, and then take a ride over to City Pier, you could take a walk up to the Custom House yeah. or oh, nice. to the Shaw Mansion or some of the other locations, have lunch downtown yeah. and then you can so drive over here, sure. go up to the Avery Cobb House yeah. or Fort Griswold. Yeah. Now what happens if I miss the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Uber. It's not, it's not, Uber. I was going to say you could swim. <laughs> Actually, if you're a good swimmer, you probably could. Okay, how often do they run? You said just, is it weekends? You said something about during the week. Do they run during the week? So they're running this year and next year, they're running Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. From 10 to 9 at, in the evening. Okay. But we just got a new boat running, the new London boat, and that's going to be available during the week for charters, for people who, if they're small companies or anybody who's interested in having um, a 
tour of up and down uh -huh. the river, uh -huh. we'd be happy to um, That's great. accommodate That's great. those situations. Now, I have a feeling you're the captain, is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take you long. Yes. <laughs> this I'm is very mate. good, but that's great. What a team you are. What a team. Yeah. What happens? It's a secret who really wears the pants. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> <laughs> um, what happens if there's bad weather? Do you let people know or do they come down? Do you do it in the rain or whatever? Yeah. So, so <laughs> we, we do do it in the rain and what, what we usually try to do on our website, if you, go to, if you ever go to the website, uh -huh. you'll see there will be a green, yellow or red. Oh. Green means we're right on time, should mm -hmm. be right on schedule unless yeah. something happens. If something happens, we'll update this. We'll update the website. Uh -huh. uh, if it's raining lightly, the taxi will be running. If it's lightning thundering, um, we do try to make sure, we try to tell our crew to watch, see who they're dropping off, where yeah, they're dropping off, yeah. and what we don't want to do is leave anybody stranded. So, right. But right. if it is lightning, they will pull in for a little while and stop the boat and then try to pick back up. So yeah. uh, the website's pretty accurate. We keep mm -hmm. it up to date. Every morning it gets updated, and then mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day, if it's bad weather, we'll update it as well. But and if you canceled uh, the taxi for that day because of inclement weather, you'd, you'd, you'd be would, able to see it right on the website. In fact, right Mary, there. the mayor yeah. of Groton. Yeah, I went there on last yeah. Friday, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's great. Wow. And you're doing this year round or just in the summer? Just the summer through September 18th. Now, next year, do you plan to um, move that up? Would you start in June or would it just still be July? It should be Memorial Weekend next year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So or the actually end of May. May. Or is it before? Yes. May, Memorial Weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. We got a little late start just because of the, uh, it took a little longer to get the boats ready from mechanical situations. Sure. Mechanical situations. Sure. And uh, it yeah. took a little time to get the COI. Right. The certification right. Which inspection is the, from the Coast Guard. Yeah. What is the COI uh, again? Certification of inspection oh, from yes. the Coast Guard. Yeah. Yeah. It took a little while. Yeah. Okay. If you'd like more information about the Thames River Water Taxi, you can go on their website, which is trwtllc.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll join us for the next edition of Welcome to Groton. For questions and comments concerning Welcome to Groton, you can write to the Town of Groton, Connecticut, Town Manager's Office, 45 Fort Hill Road, Groton, Connecticut, 06340. Or you can call 441-6630.